Now for this month's tech tip, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of our connectors with our TSU 2200 and the 21P NEM, and we're gonna show you how they're used. So let's get started. Now first off, we're gonna start with our TSU 2200. Now with our 2200, you're gonna see a nine wire non-terminated harness, and non-terminated just means that the wires are loose and they're not connected or terminated on any connector or circuit board or anything like that. Now this harness is simply just standard, plugs right into the TSU 2200 using a nine pin JST connector. Now, when you're doing an installation, you can hardwire this into your model or if you have a circuit board like this one here, this came out of an Athern Genesis that has an eight pin socket, you can do one of two things. You can either take the wires and solder them directly to the connector or you can purchase our adapter harness, part number 810135. And this has the nine wire connector on one end and an NMRA eight pin connector on the other. Now to do this, we can simply trim the insulation back enough to reveal the plug. We can simply unplug that, set it aside, and we can take our 810135 harness, we can simply plug it into our TSU 2200, and now we have a plug and play harness that this will simply go into the eight pin plug. Now when you're looking at the eight pin plug, you wanna make sure to identify and orient the plug accordingly. Most of the time you'll see pin number one, which is our orange wire, or pin number eight, which is the gray wire, oriented or marked on the circuit board. In this case, pin one is actually identified. So we're gonna take our orange wire and we're gonna put that where pin one is and we're simply going to plug it in. Just like that. Now the biggest thing to remember when we're working with the Ather 9-pin JST DCC quick plug, this right here, this little circuit board is a dummy circuit board. So this is basically the jumper on the 8-pin plug. So if we use the 8-pin socket, we need to make sure we remove this and now we can tuck this up inside the model. Now alternatively, if you do have this JST connector on your Athern model, you can simply unplug the harness from your TSU 2200. You can unplug the dummy circuit board out of this, and you can simply plug our TSU 2200 into that right there. Now that makes a quick, easy, ready to go plug and play. So now let's take a look at their TSU 21P NEM. Now when we're using our TSU 21P NEM or the Eco 21P NEM, we're typically going to install onto a motherboard similar to this. Now this is out of the Athern Genesis models and I also have one here out of the Athern RTR models. When we're orienting our decoder, we want to make sure that the black plastic plug header is actually located on top of the decoder when we plug it down. Now one way you can identify this is to take the decoder and look it up into the light and you'll notice that one of the pins is closed off. When you look at this, you're going to notice that same plug is closed off on this side. So this is the way we know that this decoder will orient onto the circuit board just like this. Now we want to make sure that the circuit board mounts firmly and in and so the pins are visible here on the top and then that way the decoder and the circuit board are together as one. This way it makes sure you've got a good connection. And that's all there is to installing a 21 pin decoder. Now one of the other things we have is we have a 21P NEM adapter circuit board. Now this will take either our Eco 21P NEM or the Tsunami 2 TSU 21P NEM and turn it into a universal circuit board that you can simply now plug into the circuit board and then now you can plug into our DCC quick plug that Athern offers in some of their older RTR models or you can use our nine pin JST harness that you can simply plug into to make sure and then wire it up as a universal type decoder. Now the other thing about this adapter circuit board is it does have extra solder pads for your extra lighting effects, your speaker terminals, and a convenient place to solder your current keeper in. Now again, if you don't have any of these pre-made connectors inside your model, you can take our TSU 2200 or the TSU 1100 and hardwire into the model, or you can so replace the circuit board that's inside with a TSU PNP or an Eco PNP. 
Now, for more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com, and under the reference tab, you can find a link to our manuals where you'll be able to see an installation guide, an overview of all the different types of installations that you can do with your model and how to implement that with the different types of models.